Today I'm going to show you how to convert a Cisco Nexus 9000 ACI spine or leaf switch to NXOS using the USB method. Start with boot up the switch and you have to enter the break sequence which is control C. Uh, I missed it on the first one which is why I said fail here and then I did another reboot. As soon as you see the Cisco module BIOS version uh, on the screen or any output just start hitting control C. Um, and then it will get you to the loader command prompt. This is when you've you've aborted the auto boot and you can change the running version. Here you type in command line, uh, CMD line recovery mode equals one. And then it'll give you some additional options. You're gonna do a DIR so you can see what's in your flash and your boot flash. In this case, my new bin file is in USB one. So my next command is boot USB one colon and then the name of the bin file. <clears throat> uh, it's going to take some time here and I do speed it up uh, I speed it up quite a bit this part took a while it decompresses the image verifies it and then it starts loading it into the background we will copy this bin file to the local boot flash but we cannot do that until we have booted to it so this just goes by pretty quick uh, we're almost done and then we'll get to our next prompt you're probably throwing some background music so it's just not quiet but anyways you'll get to the switch boot command this is when you know it's running uh, the NXOS uh, and so you need to do a few more things to get it uh, to properly load and, and boot on a reboot so from here we're gonna do uh, init system I do another typo here but it is init system init space system um, at this point it's gonna ask you if you want to continue say yes uh, by by typing in Y and and here it does another like more formal commit of uh, the NXOS platform so it's gonna uh, run here I don't speed this one up it did not take too long uh, and we are almost there and there we go we're ready for our next command and we are going to do, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, my fingers get a little fast, but uh, load dash NXOS. And this is when it's going to load that into the memory. And here I'm going to speed it up because it, it doesn't just load it. It does a whole bunch of other stuff uh, and just running through the installation process, I guess you could say. Man, isn't this music just wonderful? So at this point, um, it's it's loaded, but it's going to basically kind of keep going through this POAP failure. It's trying to load something in the background. I didn't notice. I kind of just let it run because uh, I didn't want to interrupt it. Uh, but I am eventually going to type in yes uh, to continue with the normal setup. Uh, if you read those commands, you can see where it says abort power on auto provisioning. Uh, you can do yes to get out of that. So, here I've typed in yes, and it is disabling the pop feature, and it gets you to basically what looks like a normal switch startup. Um, you can press click yes or no here. I did no just for this particular switch. Um, the username is admin but it ha forces you to come up with your own password you can change that later um, and then I did not want to enter basic configuration so I just said no um, and then it's going to finalize the installation now once it's done that it gets back to the switch login where I enter the username of admin and my password that I set here I'm just going to do a few show commands uh, you can see I looked at the boot flash my bin file is not there uh, so my next step is I am going to copy uh, the bin file from USB over to my boot flash. So enter the command. You can see there, copy USB colon and then the bin file name. In this case is 10.2.4.m, which is the latest recommended version as of the recording of this video. Uh, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to copy to boot flash just with a regular Cisco copy command and it's going to copy that. I will speed up this process. 
because as you know copying from USB to boot flash can take a little bit. So my copy is complete so I'm going to look at my boot flash with the dir command. I can see it there uh, which is good because you need that for your normal boot process because I don't want to have USB in here all the time. So now I'm going to do a config terminal and I'm going to do my boot command to ensure it boots to the new firmware. Boot and space NXOS space boot flash and then copy the name of the bin file. It will take a moment to verify the image, make sure it's good, and then bring you back to the config prompt. From there, I'm going to do a copy running config startup config. The only thing I've changed on this switch is the password for the admin and the boot command. It does its save. It says all is good. And I'm going to end. I'm going to do a show boot just to verify everything looks good. And then I'm going to reload this switch. The reason I like to do the reload here, uh, go ahead and you know hit yes or Y for yes to reboot. The reason I like to do this is because I'm gonna pack this up. I'm gonna take it to my data center, boot it in, plug it up, plug it in, boot it up, and I don't want to have problems like I did when I first did the boot up where I got the POAP error. This time you can see it boots up just fine, gets me to the switch login, which is normal. I'm then going to log in with the admin username and the password I set. I'm just going to do a few, uh, <laughs> a few show commands just to verify everything looks good on my switch, which I've already confirmed, but I like to do a fresh uh, confirm, fresh view of it just after I do a final reboot before shutting it off and, and taking it to its destination. So I do show version just to make sure it is running my new version, which it is. You can see there everything looks good. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe below. Smash that like button. Whatever you want to do. Have a great one. Good luck out there.